Hello everyone, it's Kelly Jo and today I'm going to be showing you eight new hairstyles that you can try out for fall or Thanksgiving or just whenever you want to in case you don't have any ideas. So let's get started. What you need is a hairbrush, a comb, hair ties, some bobby pins, and hairspray which is optional. The first hairstyle we're going to do is a half up messy bun. So I'm just combing my hair back so I don't really have a part and I'm kind of sectioning off the top half of my hair and I'm just kind of smoothing it out with a comb so it's not too too messy and I'm just taking a hair tie and tying it off into a ponytail which you could totally leave like that if you want to but I'm just taking the ponytail and twisting it and then wrapping it around in a circle a bunch of times so that it's a bun and then I'm taking another hair tie and tying it off so that it's a bun and then you can really kind of choose to mess with it so it doesn't look as weird I feel like this turns out differently each time I do it so just use bobby pins if you want to you can add some hairspray so it stays in better but that's it for the first hairstyle Our second hairstyle is going to be a Dutch side braid. So this is how I like to do it. I just take a small section from the top of my head and I split it into three equal pieces. And I cross the strands underneath each other as I braid instead of over each other. And that's what makes it a Dutch braid. And I just add pieces of hair to each strand as I cross them underneath each other. So feel free to watch that multiple times if that didn't make sense to you. but. I just continue doing that down my head and I usually like to stop around like the end of my eyebrow or like down by my ear sometimes and then I just braid it down regularly without adding any hair and then I take a small elastic and tie it off at the end and then after I tie it off I like to kind of mess with it a little bit to make it not look as tight against my head. So after I do that, then I put all the rest of my hair to the side and do another Dutch braid where I cross the pieces underneath each other. And that's just kind of what we just did at the top. And then you just kind of braid all the way down however far you want to. It just depends on what you want to do. And then once you complete the braid towards the bottom, you can just tie it off and mess with it however much you like. And it just really depends on how messy you want it to look and you can pull pieces out and pull the braid apart and that's really it for this hairstyle number three is what i like to call the braided tie back so you just take a small section of hair towards the top of your head and you just braid it regularly just a basic three strand braid and you just do that all the way down or if your hair is long enough you won't have to do that but you just want to make sure that you braid it um, the length that it needs to be so it goes towards the back of your head and then once you do that you can tie it off and then just do the exact same thing to the other side so eventually what you'll have is just two little braids on each side of your head and so it'll kind of look a little funny and then just take another hair tie um, and what I like to do is put my hair that's not braided into a low slick um, ponytail and then I like to um, I look really weird there then I like to pull the braids apart just to make them look a bit fuller and then I take a hair elastic and tie them in the back and the reason why I put the rest of my hair in a ponytail was because when you take it out then your hair is really smooth underneath and there's no bumps really so that's just a little i guess hair hack that you can use but that is it for the braided tie back okay so number four is the snake braid and that's what it's supposed to look like but i kept messing it up when i pinned it with bobby pins and i kept dropping my camera and spilling stuff everywhere so that's pretty great but um, you can wet down just a small piece of hair and what you want to do is I don't know what I'm doing right here oh I'm talking to my mom telling her that I made a mess so anyway you are gonna do the same thing like what we did in the last hairstyle you're just going to braid a regular three strand braid 
down um, a piece of your a section of your hair and what you really want to do is make sure it's loose and you're going to take two strands of it and slide up um, feel free to watch that part again I know I kind of went fast and you're just going to pin it and it creates this really cool effect that makes it look different than a three strand braid but it's kind of I don't know it's very unique so that's why I like it <laughs> Hairstyle number five is a lot easier if you find it hard to do braids and stuff like that. So we're going to be doing two half up ponytails. So I'm just taking a little hair elastic and tying up like the top half of one side of my head. And I'll show you on the other side, I kind of go from my eyebrow and then go up. And then I just tie it off with a little hair elastic and you just have these really cute little ponytails. And I think it's really simple, but it's also super cute. Number six is the flipped side ponytail, and this one's really good if you want your hair out of your face. So just take all of your hair and put it to whichever side you want, and you're gonna do a really low, kind of loose side ponytail. And you're going to split it into like a little hole right there, and then flip the ponytail through. And it makes this really cute, like interesting little, I don't really know, twisting effect. And you can just pull out some pieces to make it look more messy. And that's really it. It's pretty simple. Number seven is a little poof on the top of your head. So just take a small section towards the top and you're going to literally just twist it and then push forward a little bit to make a little poof. You can make it as big or as little as you want. And then take some bobby pins and secure it in like an X position. And that's it. Number eight is a French braid into a high ponytail. and. What you're going to do is put most of your hair into like a low ponytail so it's out of the way, but leave a little top section out and that's the part we're going to braid. So just start French braiding, which is like a regular braid, but you're adding pieces to each side as you cross them over. And so you're just going to do that until you kind of braid that whole section. And once you don't have any more pieces to add into the braid, you're going to just braid it like normal um, all the way down if you want to or a little bit and just tie it off with a little hair elastic. Then flip your head over if you want and pull it all up into a high ponytail. And then you're gonna tighten it up and pull out some pieces. And that's really all you have to do for this one. And I think it looks really, really cool. And a little bonus hairstyle here is if you don't want a ponytail, you can just twist it into um, a bun and just wrap it around like that and make it however messy you want to and that's a little bonus hairstyle that continues off the last one that we did thank you all for watching this video if you made it to the end i really hope these hairstyles inspired you i guess if you haven't heard of some of them before or you choose to try them out for the fall season or like Thanksgiving or something or just any time during their year really. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want to. And yeah, I'll see you next time and enjoy some little clips here of Ruby because who doesn't love Ruby? She's so cute. <laughs> Do you want a treat? Let's go get a treat. No, you gotta be patient. Be patient. Ooh. <laughs> okay, ready? Here you go. <laughs>